Okay, so um, today we are going to uh, make a script, a uh, GTO5 LS PDFR script. And this script is going to solve a one of the issues that I had as a, a person who started playing LS PDFR. So um, the issue is like when you uh, play LS PDFR and you're chasing multiple suspects on foot and all of them are running in different direction, right? So what happens is... Um, Let's say I make the first suspect sur surrender, and uh, like w I don't have the time to arrest this uh, arrest this uh, surrendered suspect and you know transport him to the police station, and I want the AI cops to do the job for me. But the way LSPDR is set up is uh, if you uh, make someone surrender, like if you make uh, a suspect surrender, the game expects you to be the one who's arresting and transporting the suspect, and that's not what we really want. Uh, like in some cases, of course, not every time. So, uh, in, so what we're gonna do is we are going to create this uh, fun uh, like mod, and when you press a key, what's gonna happen is it's going to uh, take. Uh, the number like all of the suspect which is surrendered in a specific range of the player and it's going to uh, like spawn or get the closest cop to the suspect and um, like assign the task of arresting the suspect and that's basically what this fun uh, like uh, program is going to do but there's like few safety checks that we have to ensure that we put in place the first is uh, like for every suspect uh, that's going to get arrested we have to mark them and the reason we want to mark them is because if we don't do that let's say we spawn one cop uh, per suspect right so if we don't mark them what's gonna happen is that single uh, suspect is if we keep on spamming the key of our function or uh, sorry of our program what's gonna happen is it's going to keep on spawning the uh, lots of cops for that one single suspect and all of those cops are going to be you know trying to arrest the suspect and this can cause the program to glitch out and that is not what we really want so we are going to uh, like have to mark all of the suspects uh, and like this uh, mark is going to act as a like as a sign for us to know that uh, this that that suspect is getting arrested and we, we don't want to include that in the next uh, a function call I mean like you'll understand it when you like when we get us uh, get started doing the code itself and the second check we have to do is um, so like after we assign a cop to arrest the suspect we are never sure that it's going to happen right so as soon as we said uh, like a cop to arrest the suspect what uh, like the cop can die the suspect can die the cop can get in a uh, what do you call that in a gunfight or like there's lots of things that can happen so like we don't really uh, know what can happen like we cannot ensure that a cop is going to arrest a suspect right and we don't want to ensure as well because we want it to be dynamic so we have to ensure that we keep on checking if a suspect is has been arrested if the cop is dead if the suspect is dead and things like that and uh, yeah and based on that we have to do some kind of uh, action so like as we get in the program itself like you'll know more, more about it so uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to create a new solution and it's going to be of type class library of .NET framework the framework version is going to be level 8 uh, like 4.8 it's going to be C sharp language type is going to be class library that's about it and the solution name uh, we're going to call this auto arrest surrender That's pretty simple, right? And I'm going to uh, put in it put it in the desktop just because it's simpler that way. We're going to create it. This is our main file, and yeah, we have class one dot C sharp, and that's about it. So the first event that we have to do is we have to add the dependencies. So we are going to click uh, like you know we have we are going to add uh, dependencies. You can search it up for Visual Studio if you don't know how to do it. And now I'm going to add the three dependencies that we need, okay? And these three dependencies are pretty simple if you uh, think about it. It's a uh, rage hook SDK and uh, and the LSPDF uh, like FR. Okay, perfect. We also need to add another one, and this is the stop the pad. So you can download the mod and you can just use the DLL. 
So um, for me the DLL is going to be uh, somewhere up inside this folder itself. Uh, stop the play. Yes, DLL. Perfect. So we have three dependencies. Three. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Extend this chat. Uh, this class one from a class known as plugin. So this is this comes from the LSPFR, and it need and it needs us to implement uh two functions. Uh, 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 override numbers. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the one. So we have to implement initialize, and finally. Perfect. So uh, sorry. This is it. We have two functions and you can see the error is now gone but we have to create a function for marking up ads and the way we mark is very simple firstly we have to check if the ad is valid perfect okay so if the ad is valid and made and made data and we can read it and mark as well as true there you go and we have to import some Libraries, which is the C sharp kind of thing. Okay, perfect. Uh, and that's gonna be it. We also need another function on mark head. So uh, we just like before we're going to a check and then metadata. going to be responsible it's going to return true or false based on if the pad is marked or not and so we are going to do a safety check again if pad is valid uh, we are going to have a var a we just going to call it uh, equals to pad dot data dot marked so if marked Mark is going to be uh, true and false, it's going to work perfectly. Else, we're going to return false, perfect, just like that. Um, true and false. Oh, no, else, we're going to throw an error, we shouldn't be returning false. So, it's going to be a simple exception. So what this does is, uh, we are going to uh, have a variable called marked, and it's going to store that metadata that mark, uh, that mark kind of thing. And what's going to happen is, uh, this is going to be null if uh, this does not exist. So if it is not null, we are going to return the value of mark itself, which is going to be either true and false, or else if this is null, we are just going to return false, meaning that uh, the pad doesn't have this metadata, which means that the pad has not been uh, like modified or altered in any shape or form and, and if the pad is invalid we're just going to throw an exception which is perfectly fine okay. now we have to also do the same for uh, you know the cops and it's gonna be yeah, pretty simple as well it's just gonna be a function called uh, set cop as um, working so it's gonna be very simple we're gonna do a check if the cop is valid and then we're gonna create a blip so we are just marking the cop okay uh, and it's gonna be attached to this uh, cop pad itself and once we're done with that we wanna sorry uh, dot sprite Um, I'm just gonna put the aim one. You can use anything you want. I'm just putting the uh, sprite as aim. So this is going to attach a icon to the cop in the map, so you can like see him in the map. And after that, we wanna cop dot. We are going to add a new metadata. Uh, we are just gonna call this working equals to true. Perfect. 
Okay, so just like that. do is we're going to clear the task that a cop is doing task that clear immediately we can do it immediately or we can just do it i'm just going to do it immediately i'm going to clear the task of the cop immediately and then uh, i'm just going to set it to one per round okay perfect and um, we're going to remove every single blips he has so uh so we're going to go ahead for loop I'm just gonna call it in uh, cop dot get attached blips. So this is gonna return all of the, all of the blips that's attached to his character. So we're gonna go inside a try and catch block. The reason we're doing this is because just in case, just to be safe that uh, the blips are not null. So blip dot mm, Yeah. So okay, perfect. So if if, if this uh, thing fails, it's gonna exit from the like you know from this uh, loop itself and it's going to uh, like iterate into the next uh, blip so yeah that's pretty much done now uh, we also have to set the okay yeah, yeah this for loop has to be inside this um, if uh, check Co um, cop dot data, data dot Okay, so we have the metadata uh, of working set to false, and this is true, and I think that's good. Yeah, perfect. Private void is called free, so this is the function which is going to return true or false uh, based on if the cop is free or not. Okay, so um, if cop, if the cop is valid, right? Else we are gonna throw ex new exception. Perfect. So if um, so we're gonna do working is equals to cop dot dot working. Perfect. So if working return working. Else we are gonna return false. Sorry. It's gonna work fine because uh, if it if working is valid, so it's gonna be a true and false because we altered it and we set to either true or false, or it's gonna return false if this is uh, the working variable is null, and if it and if the cop is not even valid, it's gonna throw an exception. Okay, perfect. Um, so let, let's see what we need. Okay, so we need another function to tax the cop now. So we're getting in the main uh, main working of the function itself. So this is gonna be private and void assign task to cop. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry, uh, cop cop. Suspect itself. Okay, cop is going to arrest the suspect, which we pass. So we're gonna do a safety check, cop, and suspect. Okay, else we're gonna throw exception and it's gonna be cop or sus sorry and slash or suspect um, is invalid perfect so we have the cop and a suspect so um the next thing we wanna do is if functions yeah and this oh and yeah and this function we get this uh from this uh, lspfr.mod.api itself function is bad a cop so we have to check if the cop is valid itself so if it is valid and and we also have to make sure that uh, is arrested and this comes from and to do and to check if the suspect is arrested we have to go to uh, stop the uh, stop the pad dot api dot functions so this functions dot is pad stopped so this is going to take the suspect as parameter and return true or false and yeah and if both of these conditions are true you're going to get it inside this if statement 
So if the cop is a val uh, like if a sp uh, cop is a cop and the suspect is stopped, so we can uh, set the cop as working, cop uh, as working, and we're gonna pass the cop itself, and we are going to mark that suspect. Okay, good job. Hmm. So after marking the suspect, uh, we are going to do a function. Dot, oh sorry, oh sorry, 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 not this one. Uh, function dot start that arrest. And first is going to be the cop. The uh, suspect is going to be the suspect itself. And force is going to be false because we don't want to force the uh, you know the arrest. Uh, we want the cop to be able to like go around. If it, he needs to oh yeah also I uh, set us working we have the status working with uh, in status free we have to set uh, we have to set something else as well set cop as being busy and we're gonna be cop false so this is going to set the cop to not busy set the cop as busy when he is working and not busy when he's not working um, yeah. Perfect. so the function is self-explanatory itself we're just setting the cop to be busy when he's arresting and setting the cop to not be busy when he's not arresting and yeah it's pretty gg so it looks fine to me of course th there's going to be something that we missed and we'll uh, check uh, we'll know about it when we deal with the uh, running the game itself okay so it's, uh, it's working we are setting to um, okay yeah so the arresting has been taken place and oh yes we have to run a function uh, like the post fiber but we'll do it later on which is gonna be a uh, post arrest uh, function called there's a function that we have not uh, rewritten yet which has to be called so we're just gonna do it later on perfect so I think this function is done itself so we're going to create also a for now we're, we're not going to uh, use the cops from the surrounding instead we are going to spawn a cop for every single suspect and uh, we are going to what do you call that yeah and we are just going to arrest the suspects I also forgot to add another uh, check in the uh, assign tax to cop thing, and we that is um, is cop free. The suspect. perfect so uh, we have to check if the cop is a cop if the suspect is stopped and if the cop is free as well as if the fed is not marked we're going to execute the if block <sighs> Ooh, that's uh, lots of if checks okay so we're gonna uh, we're gonna call this spawn cop and assign task suspect itself so um, we are going to have a model it's gonna be a type string is equals to and it's uh, okay you know what let's not do that we'll just hard code the model itself so uh, vector tree spawn point so this is going to be the spawn point uh, where the cop is going to spawn And uh, for the location, we're just gonna uh, the uh, yeah the location is gonna be suspect dot position dot around and the radius. Uh, let's just give mean let's give the minimum radius to be fifty and the maximum to be two hundred. And um, that's gonna be like this spawn point. So it's gonna spawn in the next position on the street, 
which is going to be around the suspect and minimum is going to be 50 and maximum distance is it's going to be like 200 so this is the spawn point okay that's um, really good so we want to spawn the uh, pet itself cop is equals new cop oh sorry new pet and as soon as we do this this is going to uh, spawn the pet itself so um, the name of the model is going to be the ID okay so this uh, you have to check this one out by yourself just google pet model names or ID and it's gonna pop up for GA5 of course so SFY01 okay perfect and uh, we're gonna put a comma and the next thing it needs is the spawn position and the next thing it needs is the oh, really I don't think we even need this because let's see do we need this? yeah we do need it so the next thing we need is um, the heading heading is kind of a yaw uh, they call it heading for some reason you can just put it in 0 f or something like that perfect okay so it's gonna spawn the cop itself so we have to set this cop as a, an actual cop using the functions of the lspdfr set pad as cop uh, it's gonna be cop itself perfect okay so we have set the pad as cop and we also want to make this can ragdoll is supposed to false we don't want this thing to ragdoll i don't know it's just this one Perfect, so we have um, we also have this red and we are just gonna assign syntax to cop and it's gonna be um, the cop itself and the suspect. Okay. And when we call this, it's gonna call this function. This function is going to set the cop uh, like mark the suspect and mark the cop and then it's gonna start the arrest kind of thing. And I think that's shoot that's done, done and dusted. And also, if suspect, okay, if the suspect is invalid, we're gonna throw exception. Suspect is invalid in spawn cop. And okay. So um, the spawn is done. The assign is done. The Cop free, set cop is free, uh, set cop is working, suspect mark and mark pad, mark, okay, pretty good, nice, okay, so now we are going to work on the function uh, for, for arresting the uh, pad itself, and then this is going to be just going to call it start arrest, so in, yeah, in this function, uh, what's going to happen is we have to um, Am I getting wrong? Oh yeah, I messed it up. It has to be inside this. This is going to start the arresting phase. So we're gonna have to talk about uh, multi-threading, or you, you know, uh, in GTA 5. So um, we have to make sure that this function is running in the secondary thread so that it doesn't um what do you call that it doesn't uh, like block the thread so we have to make sure that this function is run on a new thread every time this uh, function is called so for this uh, rage hook the rage hook sdk uh, it provides us a thing called fiber so this is you can think of this just like a thread so we have to start a new thread every time this function is called and run this function on that specific thread so th it's, it's very easy to be fair so do start new thread perfect and we're just gonna create a new delegate perfect so inside this delegate is where uh, we are gonna write our functions and all those things Whew. so the first thing is we're gonna check your suspect perfect you know what I'm not, I'm not even gonna do this I'm just gonna uh, do it do an opposite check and throw exception The stopped, we're just gonna do another safety check. Uh, stop the pad, the API dot, uh, what do you call that? Functions dot, 
is press start. two checks and it's very simple after we just do a spawn cop and assist and um, I think that's basically it yeah so this is just going to start the arresting kind of thing so it's like the main function itself <laughs> so as you can see it's very simple oh yeah uh, also inside this uh, this is if else statements right okay so we have to do Mute. I don't exactly understand what this does, but it kind of, I don't know what it does yet to be fair. So um, yeah, we'll just leave it over there. Okay, so this is one of our main functions done. So as you can see, we have used this, we are using this, this cop 3. So cop 3 is something that we have not used this yet. And um, unmarked bed and set cop 3 is the only function that we have not uh, worked on yet. Uh, I mean, which we have not uh, like called yet, and it's gonna be done right now. Fiber, void, post arrest, uh, fiber, post those checks. Yeah, let's just call it checks. It makes more sense. Over. It's gonna take the cop itself and then this is back itself, and um, yeah. Game fiber dot uh, start new. This has to run a new thread. So yeah, that's why we're doing this. Okay, nice game. So uh, we're just gonna do count equals to zero. Limit is gonna be um. Right. So what well, this means that uh this th this thing is going to stop as soon as the count reaches limit. So limit sorry down. Oh my gosh, it's greater than limit. As long uh, uh, sorry, uh, it's less than, as long as it's less than count, we're going to continue. So the first thing that we're gonna do is game uh, fiber dot sleep for one thousand milliseconds, which is uh, which is means it's gonna sleep for one second. And after it's awake, we're gonna check if the suspect is valid. Okay, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. If suspect is not valid, we're just gonna um, do a what do you call there? A check. If suspect is not valid, which means uh, the suspect is not valid anymore, we can set the cop as free and we're gonna set the cop itself. And um, yeah, we're gonna return from this state, uh, like function itself. If uh, wait, what else is there? Is pet arrested? So once the pet is arrested, we can also uh, what do you call it? Set the cop as free. Okay. Mm and uh, if the set cop is free, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Perfect. R functions dot uh oh sorry 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 yeah we're gonna do suspect that is dead okay mm so if the suspect is dead or is arrested we're gonna set the cop as free okay R suspect is running or suspect is in car is in any vehicle yeah yeah you, you can just kind of uh, set any kind of checks you want I, I'm just putting all of this it doesn't really have to be this intense you can just put is arrested is check or is running because if he's uh, like you know in the surrender state he's not going to run and if he does it means that um, he is free so if this is the case oh, oh yes I'm sorry we don't really we can't really do this because we cannot unmark the pet. We have to unmark the pet for some other task, but that's uh, this is not the case itself. So we're gonna do another if, and this is where we put the is that and all these things. 
So if these conditions are met, if the suspect is running, is dead, or is invincible, uh, like is in vehicle, we are gonna unmark the bed. The bed is a uh, suspect itself, and we are also set cop as free. We can say it's cop. And we're gonna return. Okay. So this is the section for the suspects. Now we are gonna do go to the cop section. So like just like this is we're gonna have a basic um, cop check mm, and mark that uh mark that uh yeah suspect but we also have to make sure that the suspect dot task dot clear perfect and then suspect dot task dot wonder this is going to make the uh, suspect wander around and then we're going to return perfect okay. we also need another uh, check um, if cop dot is dead so if the cop is dead um, we're going to have to unmark the bad suspect and then just like the uh, previous one uh, yeah just do this okay i think what we can do instead is uh, instead of doing it over here we can just put it in the unmark uh what do you call it the unmark function itself here immediately and then mm, okay perfect uh so uh, let's go back to our function unmark bad return but we have to cop, uh, set cop as free and I don't even know why I'm doing this. Cop is already dead, so this shouldn't even be a question. <coughs> yeah, but oh, uh, you, you do need to delete the bips. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. So cop is free. So let's go back to set cop as free function and um, let's see. If there's something that we have to do so if cop is valid uh, and okay so we have to do another check if um, isn't dead. so if the cop is basically dead we're just gonna remove the blip itself um, so like this and we can uh, set the metadata to sorry this boil we can copy this then return perfect so if the cop is that we're going to remove the blip we're going to set the working as false which is not really important uh, yeah but we'll just do it just in case and the function set cop is busy I I don't think it's necessary but I'm just doing this just to be on the safe side because uh, LSPDF I don't know how it fun uh, handles these things so I'm just doing it for the sake of that okay yeah uh, so that is done so now if cop is shooting right or cop is fighting uh, uh, yeah I think he's shooting is more than enough oh sorry okay. cop is free we can send the cop is free we're also gonna unmark the bad suspect. We're gonna return. Perfect. Okay, so um, I think that's about it. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we have, we also need to increment this uh, count value itself. So inside the game fiber, inside the while loop. And then we have to do a game fiber dot nil. Okay. Okay. So this is gonna increase the increment the value of count by one every second. So after one eighty seconds, it's gonna exit the loop. And uh, yeah, if it exits the loop, what we wanna do is uh wait, where is the while loop? Okay, this is not gonna be here. This has to be inside the while loop itself. Perfect. So um. 
timeout, which means that uh, the count the count has reached a uh, limit. So we need to delete the suspect and copy and show they are not stuck in some Perfect. So, uh, we we we're just gonna try some statements and other things because this one's not uh, just to to delete the suspects nicely. So suspect dot delete. Perfect. And we're just gonna copy this. And it's gonna be cop. That's it. Yeah, that's it, brothers. <laughs> okay, I think that's uh, all of these things done. And post arrest check. We uh, we also need to call this start in uh, start arrest uh, kind of thing. In the uh, assign. Okay, in the assign task call. So after we uh, set them to arrest, we um, we call, yeah we wanna. Post the rest checks and we're gonna send the cop and we're gonna send the suspect and boom there we go it's perfect it's working fine so um, this has been um, used as well we, we just need to use the start arrest itself okay perfect so to do this we're gonna go to initialize and we are gonna set up a key listener which means that it's got oh, we're going to make a loop and the loop is going to run in the background and it's going to uh, listen for key in inputs so just like before start new brigade and inside this uh, we're going to yeah we wanna go inside a infinite loop and um, we're gonna do if game dot uh, uh, yeah game dot is key down it's gonna be keys dot f9 okay just just we just gonna do f9 okay and the reason okay uh, yeah what's happening oh uh, it's not new keys it's uh, keys. Um, so let's. Mm, yeah, keys is not really. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to add a reference just in case, okay? It's called windows.form. This one we have to uh, add this dependency. So we are going to import the dependency now, and there we go. It's perfect. Okay. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to get a uh, list of uh, to play there. Okay, that's what we want to do. So uh, it's very simple. We have to. Okay, you know what? Let's make another function called. Uh, First thing we want to do is we want to do pets equals to world dot get entities and the range is going to be radius itself. Oh yeah, the position. Yes, yes, yes. The position is going to be uh, dot yeah, local player dot character dot sorry position and the radius is going to be radius itself and the and the uh, get entities flag is going to be Pets, something like consider human pets. Perfect. And in, instead of using var, I'll just maybe just do. Yeah, perfect. So uh, for each entity, pet entity.
also need to store this uh, the temp that, that we cost uh, into a specific list, right? So what we're gonna do is we create a new list. dot add uh, what do we want to add we want to add the temp pad itself perfect okay so um So what's happening is uh, we have we're getting uh, entities from the world in a specific radius, and the position is going to be the location of the player, and it, and the flags are uh, we are go going to only get the entities which are human pets, and then we're going creating a new uh, list uh, called suspect, and it's going to hold uh, a list of pets, and we are uh, like creating a new uh, list. So we're going to loop through every single pad and we are going to try to cast them in a temp pad uh, and store them. So we are going to cast them and store them in the temp pad. If it's successful, we're going to check if the pad is stopped and the pad is marked. And if both of these conditions are true, oh sorry, if the pad mark is false, yeah. So if both of these conditions are true, we're going to add the suspect uh, to the uh, suspects list and it's gonna just continue for every single suspect in the, in the range and uh, at the very end we're gonna check if the size of this is, uh, like you know if the size of the list is um, actually you know what we don't even need to do this because yeah why do we have to it's just unnecessary now that I think about it I'm sorry I'm just kind of doing this thing on the spot so it's like very uh, we're just gonna iterate through each pattern that we get from the uh, get suspect in range function. Okay, perfect. So, pad p in blah blah blah. Okay, so we're getting every single pad, and for every single pad, we're gonna call start rest p. Perfect. Auto make it even more clear. We can instead just do the suspect. And uh, yeah. Okay, so. <sighs> Let's have a look at uh, this is it. I think I didn't I, I don't think I missed anything So okay, let's see uh, when the game is going to call this function it's called at the very start We're going to create a new background thread and it's going to uh, run this while loop forever And this loop is going to act like a key listener and listen when I uh, listen for the key f9 so when we press f9, it's going to uh, like uh, run this for each loop and we are getting uh, the pets from this function itself and this function is returning a list of suspects and for every single suspect we are uh, running the start arrest function the start arrest function runs a thread uh, like sorry uh, it creates a new thread every single time this is called this is to ensure that all of the uh, like all of the spawning and all those things are ha being handled independent independently and this is like very important or it's not gonna work at all Unless the first, first, uh, like you know, first spawning is done, and it it gets very buggy in sharp. Like you can test it out without the uh, game fiber that start, and you can see how it ends. So uh, before starting out, we check if the suspect is valid, and if it is valid, we are gonna check if the pet is stopped and if the pet is marked, right? So if the pet is marked and the pet is stopped as well, we're going to spawn cop and task assign oh sorry assign task 
and this function is uh, going to set a spawn point based uh, on the suspect and uh, it's going to spawn a new cop and then it's going to set the baddest cop and then it's gonna set the health, set the uh, can red all the false and it's going to call the function assign task to cop the assign task to cop is going to check if both the cop and the suspect is valid and if, if both of them valid it's going to do an, uh, another check it's going to check if the pet is a cop if it's going to check if the pet uh, like suspect is stopped if it's going to check if the cop is free and um, if the pet is not marked if all of these conditions are met then it's going to set the cop's work it's going to uh, mark the pet and then it's going to uh, start the uh, sorry and then it's going to call the start pet ar uh, arrest pet function uh, from lspdfr and we are, we are going to pass the cop and the suspect and once we do that we are going to call the post arrest check function this post arrest check function is uh, going to be responsible for handling all of the uh, like you know of making sure that the game is going to stay clean and it's going to function properly once the uh, pet is spawned and it, once the cop is spawned and it has been assigned task to arrest the suspect so we're going to start a new thread this is, this is also important so we have to re really do this and uh, the count is going to be zero the limit is going to be 180 and we have a while loop this while loop is going to run uh, for ever until the count is great uh, like as long as the count is less than limit this uh, while loop is going to run the first thing that we do is uh, we are going to put the post arrest check to sleep this is uh and we're going to make it sleep for about one second and we are, we are just going to do some checks for example if the suspect is invalid we are going to send the cop as free and then we're going to exit out of this post arrest check this is also going to get rid of the uh, what do you call that of the game fiber itself and and okay and then the second check is we're going to check if the uh, suspect has been arrested so in this case we don't need the cop anymore so we, we are going to send the cop as free and we're going to exit out of the fun uh, function yes and the third check is uh, we're going to check if the suspect is dead is running or is in any kind of vehicle if that's the case then we are going to unmark the suspect and we are also going to send the cop as free okay so now we're gonna uh, come to the ch uh, checks for the cop so we first is the basic uh, is cop valid check so if the cop, cop is not valid we are gonna unmark the suspect and if the cop is dead we're gonna unmark the suspect and send the cop as free and uh, if the if uh, like cop is shooting or is in combat we're gonna set the cop as free and unmark the pad as well and okay that's basically all the checks done and after all these checks we're gonna in increment the value of uh, count by one and we're gonna call the game fiber.util this is important I don't know exactly why but this is to ensure I think that uh, this is not going to stop the other functions from executing okay yeah so all of these checks all of, all of these checks are going to exit from the uh, function itself right so let's say uh, the cop is stuck as well as the suspect so this uh, to ensure that this function is not going to uh, run forever and to ensure the good performance and what we're gonna do is uh, we have this limit and account setup so what's gonna happen is if none of these uh, checks are triggered in 180 seconds we are simply going to exit out of this while loop and we're going to consider that okay both of the cop and both the cop and the suspect is um, what do you call that yeah they both are stuck somewhere and we have uh, reached 90 seconds so we are just gonna delete the cop and the suspect itself okay so then that's the basic logic if uh, the cop has not been able to arrest the suspect uh, in what do you call it in 180 seconds we're just going to uh, exit from the while loop and we are going to instead try to delete the suspect and the cop itself so um yeah that's about it this is a very uh, short script itself sorry yeah this is a very short short script itself and it's a good one uh, as well i mean not the best of course there's lots of things that can be improved like uh, i wanted to get the nearest cop in the world and use that to arrest the suspect but the problem was um if the if the what do you call it yeah so um if the cop in the surrounding is uh, there to uh, what do you call it to uh, pick up the suspect which has been arrested they are also considered a cop and and then 
the, uh, this function is uh, like this program is going to assign them to uh, arrest the suspect and this causes the uh, what do you call that um yeah it causes the cop which came to uh, transport the suspect to loop forever so it's going to loop between transporting the suspect and trying to arrest the uh, suspect which has been marked as uh, to, as to be arrested so I don't and it's uh, and and the way to avoid this is you just kind of uh, running a basic task check for example we are gonna check what the uh, cop is doing and if the cop is uh, in the process of transporting the uh, suspect we can just uh, ignore that cop but it's not as easy as it sounds and uh, it's just my second day working with the rage hook SDK and LSPDFR itself so I don't really I don't know any better it and yeah this is also just my second mod of GTA itself so I don't know like most of the good functions yeah so uh, that's about it thank you